Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 The Reaper's Due as now Basilissa Mariah II because our father Basileus Porphyrios has just died of poor health uh, at the age of 38, very young and uh, although it says here that he wasn't especially blessed, he was known as the Holy and I guess that the infection, uh, well it was not the infection that killed him but it was some disease that did uh, kill him at some point I, I feel like it was sent by the gods to punish him for, for killing uh, God's true mess messenger, um, the Helen of Calliopolis. Um, and, uh, you know, my father, he, he tried to, to make amends and he, he was getting ready to uh, declare holy war against the Tegan Sultanate and then further against the Bari Sultanate just so that we could reclaim Antioch as well as Jerusalem and Alexandria for our holy faith um, so we might uh, establish some new pentages. But uh, unfortunately he died before that and now it is our turn, Basilissa Mariah II. Uh, we're also zealous and we do strive to become a better good of virtue just like our father. Um, so be it and I think um, we're gonna try and declare this war as well now our father actually um, signed another uh, not alliance with the Holy Roman Empire in hopes that they would use their forces um, to to well fight the Bari Sultanate unfortunately with his death it seems we are not able to get this alliance back up yeah he does not even want to have an aggression non aggression pact so that's gonna be even more difficult basically I've just been you know banking money um, so that we could get ready for a big war where we will probably need a whole lot of mercenaries but yeah um, we can uh, set a crown focus apparently so let's know that's going in hiding I want to uh, set a crown focus in obviously our capital of Constantinople there you go now uh, we are actually married to a rather in uninteresting dude he's zealous though so that's important he's uh, Greek Orthodox and I decide that I will give him the county of Philippios uh, simply because we are over our uh, domain size so let's give him that and I will also give this province right here to my cousin who my father made the exage of Anatolia so I'm gonna give him one more title uh, which is Dorylion there you go we'll give that to him and um, now the reason uh, that my father has actually given out the kingdom title of Wallachia as well as Anatolia, we've given Wallachia to another uh, content man, so he should like us quite a bit, um, is because we actually have the Duchy of Nicaea, which is part of uh, the crown holdings. Uh, it's part of Greece, so um, therefore it was, it was possible to give out Anatolia to someone else. But yeah, um, we now have some new councillors that we need to appoint, a new... Uh, I see a new mass of arms or a new protostrator as he's called. Well, well, the best one, you want to become a counselor? Hmm, he's zealous, but he's the wrong religion. I cannot pick him. I cannot pick a Jew either, so I'm going to have to go with the best Orthodox, and that would be this guy right there. Uh, I want you to train some troops just so we can get ready for the wars to come, and we obviously need a couple more commanders, three new commanders. Well, I only want to have orthodox people here, unfortunately, they're not as great as the others, but that's okay. Let's pick uh, you as a third one. Yes. All right, let's continue. Uh, so we have a thousand gold in the bank. I would probably wait until we have two thousand, simply because these guys are quite powerful. Now, this guy obviously is not. He only has four thousand men, but he has some pretty good allies. He's allied to Tegan. I believe he was also allied to the Golden Horde. Maybe that no longer is the case. Oh, those are, those are not pacts. Um, there, there are pacts. Um, so yeah, he has he's allied to Chagatai and also the satrap of Mesopotamia. So not sure if I really want to attack him just yet. And the Bari Sultan is currently not at war, and they have twenty three thousand men, which is really a lot. And they're also allied to the Chagatai. Um, so I think we're gonna have to wait until we have quite a lot of money, and uh, then we can raise some mercenaries and uh, destroy our enemies here. Um, but until that is the case. Uh, there's not really much we can do other than wait around and uh, obviously we need to produce a son hopefully because our, our sister Princess Adrian she's not really all that good just yet but yeah basically uh, that was all I wanted to uh, show you guys I'm gonna go forward to camera up because we're really just waiting for some money and once we have enough uh, once I think we're ready I'm gonna come back and we'll declare the war the holy war for uh, the restoration of the Pentarchy so I'll see you guys in a second so we're almost ready to go to war with the Bari Sultanate, but uh, right now there has an, well, an opportunity has presented itself that we could take the last remaining province 
of the Duchy of Cilicia. So I decided we're going to actually go to war right now. Now, unfortunately, the uh, King of Cyprus is uh, had declared this war before we could actually do anything. That was because we were fighting rebellion against one of our lords here. And, um, well, because I had raised men raised, I couldn't actually declare the war, which is unfortunate. So yeah, we have this guy imprisoned, and I can revoke his title. I could even demand religious conversion. Actually, that might be that might be better. But no, he is he's a Muslim, and I think we're just gonna revoke his title, the Mosque of Lesbos. He is gonna be very pissed off, but that's fine. He now only has he has nothing left. Very nice, and we can give out this new bishopric to uh, just some random person. Let's see who actually holds it. Xenon. Okay, very nice. Greek Orthodox. Exactly what we want. We can still imprison a couple of people here. This guy actually he wants to fabricate a claim on the county of Philippios. Now. I don't want you to do that. Would you end your plot? He would not. <sighs> I don't like to have unruly vassals. But then again, what the, what kind of holdings? He has this barony here as well. This barony. I would like to... Uh, what does he have? Marauding pirates. I would like to revoke his title. This one, right there. But uh, that's not possible. I could have just imprisoned him. You know what, we'll do that. We'll imprison this person. Yes, there you go. He's safely in prison. That's fine. Okay, at the very least, he cannot do anything anymore. And now we are going to declare this war. We're going to declare a holy war ourselves. Um, th five out of three of our council um, will, at uh, five out of eight, will uh, join us. So that's very nice. And I think it's time that we... Actually, you know what? We might not need to raise all that many men. I think the Anatolian forces... Unfortunately, are not enough. Only 2,000 is what he's given us. That's not a whole lot. Um, well, and I guess... Why not the Varangian Guard? Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Raise a Varangian Guard, and that should be plenty of men. Let's see who we can have leading our troops. Uh, Theodotus, and you, and you. Perfect. And you start sieging already. Now, unfortunately, Cyprus is here, a little bit problematic, but, uh, oh well. Now, I guess, um, we will have to raise, how many men can I raise here? Uh, just a couple. Ah, uh, that's fine. Well, we'll raise you to siege down these provinces. Don't actually have enough men to do that. Um, okay, what's going on here? What are, what are you doing? The Lachian Revolt. Okay, I cannot help you with that, but what I can do is raise some men from Valachia here, and we'll siege down these provinces there. Should be enough. Um, your protostrator has put forward a plan, uh, so lose money, Um yeah, I, I I guess so, I guess so, yeah, we, we shall see. Any uh, military, uh, I guess, new, uh, any new military ideas that we, uh, that we might come up with uh, would be very helpful. And who's this? Awkward so Trappy. Are you fighting that one? So many people that you are fighting. Yes. Okay, so all of your provinces are being besieged at this very moment. A county of Tarsus has converted to orthodoxy. Very nice. So yeah, the orthodoxy is growing stronger. Ever stronger. Very awesome. And the Peasant Revolt has declared a war against us. Where are they? They've risen up. Oh, they've risen up right here. That will not do. I'm going to have to raise our own men. Simply because... We're otherwise going to be in real trouble. Okay, you guys, 3,000, and I guess our retinue as well. Should be enough. Hmm, that's very unfortunate because I was using these, or I was hoping to use these men. Uh, Bulgaria is going to war. Huh. Oh, well. Okay, let's get our men together here in Prusa. I'm not sure where they're going. They don't try and arrive here. Now let's go here and make him, make him not go there. Good. 4,900. Lovely. We'll wait for the rest of our men and then we'll destroy them. And we're finally pregnant. Awesome. Hopefully that's going to be uh, a strong, genius, attractive son. Uh, screaming Arrows. You receive a report on the outcome of the military experiments. And your prostrator asks you to sponsor. Apparently a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried out. Based on Far Eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke then explode on impact, killing several of the livestock used as practice targets. Though of dubious accuracy and prone to failure in rainy weather, these experiences will have provided some valuable lessons. Awesome. 
Um, unfortunately, we do not yet have enough points to go for a new technology, at least I don't think. We might check that out in, in a bit, but first let's get our troops together. Uh, maybe let's get a general on here, this guy. Don't know why I cannot pick anyone else, but there must be a reason. And you guys, I want to siege this province. Great. So, this might be a split into three parts, um, but we shall see. And... Oh, Aparos has been converted to uh, Orthodoxy. Great. And I think we now will send you guy to convert Corfu. At least I think this is the uh, the island of Corfu. Okay, so we've uh, attacked our people, uh, uh, these, these peasant rebels here. Hmm. Okay, like we're crushing them. I don't really have particularly great... Yeah, there's, it's mostly like infantry. So that's relatively easy for us to destroy them. Okay, great. And now the 5,000 men, I guess we should just send them... Well, actually, we're going to stand them down. And we'll send a retinue to deal uh, with this with this in Tarsus. Good. And the Tegan Sultan is bringing some more men. He's trying to fight... I don't know what he's trying to do. Um, Byzantine Revolt has ended, yes, and it will probably... I don't know what I will do with you. Who are you? Prince of Eden. Uh, sure, you can be ransomed. I could ransom you for 145 gold, sure. And you could be banished. Banish him. There you go. Awesome. The rest will keep in our prison at the moment. We are... Uh, oh, another revolt has declared a war. Very nice. That's going to help us out quite a bit. Okay, we've gained extra money. Our treasury is uh, is looking well. Although we're still losing quite a lot of money. What is the monthly cost? It must be the retinue that, that is uh, being built up. It must be. Can't I can't think of anything else. I mean, the, the Rengians don't cost that much. But as long as we're still making money, I don't really care. 4,500 men right here. Glorious and Bulgaria. What are you? Who are you fighting? You're fighting the Tegan Revolt. Oh, you're joining Cyprus. Cyprus, Georgia, and Bulgaria are fighting together. Interesting. Oh, well. So, yeah, you guys, you can actually combine as well. Who's the attacker? Ah. What? How is that even possible? How is he the attacker? How? What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would this go to Bulgaria? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, now I'm the attacker. What the hell? I was here before anyone else. Bulgaria just joined. Don't know why they would have control. Um, and my daughter has been born. Okay, very nice. Princess Leontina. Okay. She was born in... Oh, my labor was difficult. I feel something is wrong with me. The midwives look worried. I feel so terribly weak. With chest pains. <gasps> oh, no. A shooting after a moment of agony passes for now. Okay. And uh, will now be treated. That's not good. I don't want to die. I'm glad I hired Faddle. Okay, so apparently he's doing a good job. Alright, well, I want you to be... I'm going to give you lessons in faith. There you go. Just because we are so zealous, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. And this is my... No, it's... The... What the fuck? Why does it change to his, his vassals? It doesn't make any sense. I'm sieging here the entire time. And then all of a sudden he swipes in. And he gets control of over, uh, over all of the sieges. Doesn't make any sense. It's bullshit. Hmm. That's very strange. Not sure why that is exactly. There is Venice, 12,000 men. They actually have also quite a lot of men. I'm surprised. Okay, we're 11%. But once we siege down everything, yeah, that should be fine. I wonder how many men... This is also besieged by the uh, revolt. Hmm. But you have 10,000. The revolt is probably going to end before we can do anything. Okay, um, we have kind of said it would be benefit to the realm if we were to learn some new languages. Um, an excellent idea, I guess. Sure. Pretty good idea indeed. And uh, are we fighting Bari Sultanate? Yes, we are. Fighting Nasr the Holy. And uh, Anatolia has declared a war on Colonia of the Tegan Revolt.
good for you. But that means we're fighting the Holy. That's a problem. Our Holy Wars stopped. Okay, um, we'll do nothing for now about this vassal. That is, uh, hmm. So, you are fi who are you fighting? You are going to- you're only fighting against me. You're not fighting against Cyprus, Bulgaria, and Georgia. Because why would you? Alright, well that means we're going to have to raise all of our men. As the Bari Sultanate is in this. And, uh... I'll get everyone together. You, I'll just leave here. We should be the one that siege this. What's going on? That's very strange. So now I'm in control of the siege. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. The offensive pact against us has been... Uh, this, well, not that disbanded, but uh, at least people are leaving it. That's very nice. So yeah, we're going to fight the Bari Sultan, which is fine. Um, he's bringing 22,000 men. We have 29,000, and we have tons of money to pay for this war. So we should not run out of funds, at the very least. That's something good to know. Okay, and Anatolia, you are fighting another war. Offensive Pact has been disbanded, finally. That's what I've been waiting for the entire time. Good. I mean, not that they really do anything. I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to uh, attack them, anyways. Still, it's good not to have that defensive pact anymore. I think we'll send twelve thousand men to Tarsus, and then these four thousand we could send up there, maybe. And we shall see. For now, we'll just stay put. I think. We could probably storm the castle, but it, there's just really no point. I don't think we gain anything from storming the castle. Alright, we can, uh, get another morning when I wake up feeling tired. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna study a little bit. And our cousin is regent. I uh, actually know my, my husband now. And we've won a siege. And we have a 10% chance of becoming diligent. Yes, awesome, very nice. And we've gained some piety, so soon enough, We'll be, uh, we'll have the required, uh, dy uh, not dynasty, but the required piety to be known as the holy, which is what we want. Okay, um, we could, we already have diligent. Uh, I learn even a few phrases will be worth it, sure. Okay, we are diligent after all, so it makes sense to try and study. You guys, I want you to get together, and we'll probably send you... Okay, yeah, Patrick has died. Too bad for him. We need a new, I don't know what, advisor. I think we're gonna advise... Yeah, we're gonna take the advice from our cousin, as he's very unhappy that he's not... Well, actually, he wants a seat on the council, minus 40. Sure, we'll give him a seat on the council, that's fine. He's a designated regent after all, so I feel like it does make sense. He should have a say in matters of uh, of council. All right, so there are there they come. I think twenty thousand men trying to attack us. You are still only at war with this one dude. Okay, well these are mountains. I hope we are prepared. You have the best generals. Well, those are shit generals, to be quite honest. But uh, yeah, so they will arrive in Tarsus most likely. Um, oh, they are fighting, oh, they're fighting them as well. Interesting. Now, actually, I will probably go ahead, bring in 17,000 men, help the, uh, help these guys in their, in their struggle. Although, then again, no, because they want to take away my lands. I will not help them in their struggle. I will, however, take their lands once these... Once this battle is over, yes, because I will be able to crush, I will be able to crush them. Pretty certain of that. We are in mountain defense here, um, and our bishop. There's an infidel at your court, my liege. Oh, our court physician. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. We'll have to burn him at the stake. That's not great, but. Uh, oh my God, these screams. Um. And we now do not have a court physician, but that's just the way it is, right? We need to recruit a new one. 
I hope I do not have to wait for long. Um, but we have to do it. We, we, we are zealous, so it does make sense. We shouldn't have him as our cool position anyways, but I just I simply did not know. I forgot. Okay, so Cyprus have lost. I think they're losing. Yeah, they're only in 2%. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, shortly after you spread the word of you seeking the employee of a court physician, a Jewish exile. Yeah, I don't want his services. I uh, don't want any Jews, necessarily. I think I, I, I want to have an Orthodox guy. Now, I remember that one of my Renjin guard, uh, uh, Kofu, has been converted. Nice. Wait, what? Which is this province? I thought it has been converted. Um, okay, that's kind of strange, but yeah, um, I thought, I thought we could have, oh yeah, we have a couple, like, look at this, a captain of the Renjin Guard, he is a uh, renowned physician, so yeah, I think I'll pick him, or him, but no, he's a renowned physician, so we'll pick him, uh, he's, you know, as a, as a, that minor title, he is a orthodox, so that's what's important, anyways, so I'm gonna have to end this episode here, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.